Our sectors are intrinsically connected. Creative people thrive on the exchange of ideas and information. There are now a large number of European and international networks and programmes such as Culture Action Europe, On the Move, Literature Across Frontiers, which connect our UK and European counterparts. It's in everyone's interest to retain this collaborative approach. Surveys report, repeatedly show that the sector remains overwhelmingly committed to international cooperation. 96% of the sector voted to remain last year. We're European in heart and in spirits. We accept that Brexit has taken place, but the goal now, as relationships are renegotiated, is to preserve those things which helped creativity to thrive. In this respect, we are all in transition from being remainers to retainers. So many aspects of the cultural sectors across Europe are intertwined and interdependent. So unpicking them can feel a little bit like untying the tapestry of Bayeux. And whatever one thinks of the narrative of the canvas itself, its cultural value transcends centuries and reminds us of the need to work together for peace and prosperity. Make no mistake, I firmly believe that offering citizens a diverse range of international cultural activity is fundamental to bringing progressive community relations that help to overcome xenophobia that seems to be everywhere at the moment. But whilst I personally may fear for my children's future in terms of the cultural misunderstandings that is prevalent locally and globally, I do remain hopeful that given the opportunity, their generation will do things differently. The sector I care for so much offers part of the solution in that it nurtures hope, authenticity and an understanding that reaches beyond borders. Culture and creativity matters to us all and that's another reason for us to get this one right. Yeah, vielen, vielen Thank you very much for that uh, overview of the culture and creative sectors.